yeah, no way that that's the end of the game, but we can see. I wonder if we can... Actually, let's see if we can do this now. Let's load our old save data. And we can fast forward through text. See if we make choices that make him happier with us if it ends differently. Because I know there wasn't that much text. There was quite a lot, but... We've done this fast forward business before with the Sweet View series. And it went pretty quickly through whenever there was parts that we'd already read. So we should be coming up to the choice where we tell uh, Shido to not kill Yamazaki. Yeah, there we go. So there's the don't die. And if I choose don't kill him, please don't kill him. And I hesitate only a moment for answering. I'm worried about you. I don't want you to kill him. Okay, is more important to me by far, but if Hijikata dies, you'll be sad. You might not say it, but you will be. Okay, we're going to call him out. Cool. There we go. There's some cherry blossoms. I don't know if that would change anything, though. I have to go see him. You understand why. And then this should link us back into... Suddenly, Okita groan his face twisted in pain. Oh, and then we give him blood. Because I'm pretty sure that's... Let me look at our... Lovely status. Should say... If we keep his romance high, keep his corruption super low... And we keep his corruption low by doing the blood stuff. Oh, that's not the one. So we do licky licky, yes, yes, yes. Love, love, love. And then I do my thing. And the next time we'll trade blood and... I think that should be... Well, would me taking his blood corrupt him more? No, I don't think that would change any kinds of endings, though. Yep, so he just got in them are fighting. They're all angry and stuff. And then that should be the end of chapter 7. Or 6. End of chapter 6. Bingo! That's a bingo! And now we go home! I just want to see if this changes the ending. Like, we were talking about this earlier, where it's like... I think that choice was a uh, the the hedge that we went over one way or another, which would be kind of funny. <laughs> All right, and then maybe what if we do endure the pain? Would that lower his corruption? We're at max happiness, so that's not a big deal. Let's see where he's at. This is the first time we're actually like going through these menus. Yeah, that corruption is not at the minimum level, and so... I'm wondering what we did to make him more corrupted. I'd have no idea, which is kind of the problem, but... Um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -ba, let's do... Uh... Let's see what happens when we endure it. There we go. We'll give him blood. I don't need it. I don't want madness. Cool. Way to go, Chizuru. I didn't know that was part of the option, was to give him blood. Maybe he won't get killed if he's not as corrupted. <laughs> He'll just, like, be stronger. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be nice. Ah, uh, we nestled close to one another, enduring the madness and pain our fury blood brought together. Our hands intertwined were my anchored reality. Although, we don't get that really cute scene of us both, um, both doing it together. Oopsies. So, that's not as good, obviously. Hmm, I wonder if either of those would change the ending in some way. They just don't seem like they would. Hey, kissy kissy, and some tears. Last kiss. Sup, Kodo? We're here to kill you guys. I looked my father in the eye. Father, 
stop it. He had to understand, any army, an army of furies could never bring happiness to anyone. How can you say it's alright to hurt innocent people for your revenge? So this is a part we have definitely taken a change. It was true that humans had destroyed the Yukimura family, but there was no justice in extending that crime to all humans. Surely he knew that. You are a doctor. How many lives have you saved? That's... My father didn't hate all humans. It was only the rage brought on by the fury blood within him that had driven him to feel that way. Here we go. Here we go. Demons and humans can live together. We don't have to hate each other. Jeez, Ryu. He stood frozen, seemingly appalled by what I'd said. This is the Chizuru I wanted. <laughs> oh my god, what an idiot. Kaori didn't seem to share my father's consternation. What do you think we were trying to do when our family got wiped out? Coexist with humans, maybe? But all you want to do is cause more pain. How could anything good come from that? If Kaoru and my father did indeed build their demon kingdom, countless lives would be destroyed, just as my family's had been. It's alright to make other people suffer as long as you get what you want. You knew all about suffering! How can you do that to someone else? I'm gonna talk them down. That's what I'm gonna do, because I'm freaking Cheezeru. We're gonna get in here, we're gonna talk them down. And if that doesn't work, I'll slice them up. Talk them down, slice them up. By the way, I'm gonna win. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna get my happy ending. We're gonna take we're gonna take Shido, Shido, Skidoo. We're gonna take Skidoo and we're gonna walk out of here. Hand in hand. And blood in blood. And then have sex. People only suffer because they're weak. If they aren't willing to do what it takes to get stronger, then they deserve that what they get. Me, on the other hand, who has been like very clear that they've been suffering this whole time. Me, I'm a jerk. I want to do anything. In his hand was a small vial of dark red liquid. Here we go. He's gonna do it. Do it, dude! He threw his head back, and with a single swallow, the water of life was gone. Dummy. Bad mood. Bad move. His body lurched forward, and he clasped a, clasped a hand to his chest in pain as his hair turned white. Why did you do that? That's you're. That's beyond dumb. Why did you do that? His breathing was ragged, but he looked up at me through his bangs and grinned. I need to be stronger. Besides, it was easy to figure out the right dose for a demon. Once I tested it on you, dear sister. I like that. I like that twist. Cool. He's willing to sacrifice his body, his sanity, for the sake of gaining even greater power. I know Okido's no pushover, so I just had to make sure I was stronger than he is. He drew his sword with a cruel grinding of metal, the smile still twisting in his face. Okay, perfect ending. Kodo kills himself, saving us, and we kill Kaoru. Because really, after all of this, Kodo can't live. I don't think so. Triumph of music! I don't think we've heard this song before either. Let's do it. Sorry, but I can't say I really care what your reasons are. There's nothing facetious about his tone. His words were simply an honest truth. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. If I lose, that's not going to be very long, so I can't lose. That's all there is to it. Okita. I felt the same way. How stupid are you? So stupid. Kaoru's strength, multiplied many times over by the water of life, slammed strike after strike against Okita's defense. And I just sneak up behind and be like, oh, right in his back. Okita grunted a little under the power of the assault, but he deflected each blow and drew back to a safe distance, his eyes wary. He's gonna die soon anyway. Did you know that using all that strength and regeneration shortens your life? Is this like medical tips from Kaoru Nagumo? Like, dude, we're in the middle of a sword fight. One weird tip to stay alive a little longer. I do. If being a fury makes my life shorter, that's all the more reason I can't let you take it. His voice was calm. Badass. At the same instant, Okita and Kaoru leapt for one another, their swords meeting with an ear-shattering clang. Okita moved back a step, and blood dripped to the ground from a fresh wound on his arm. Wasting no time, he parried, and his own blade opened up a wound on Kaoru's body. Back and forth they went, giving their bodies no time to heal. As the battle went on, Kaoru struck again and again, and as soon as Okita was more, the more wounded of the two, the ground beneath them was slick with blood. Kaoru, stop. I couldn't stay silent any longer. You're already really powerful. Indeed, had his opponent been anyone other than Okita, he would have killed them almost instantly. Why are you doing this? 
I knew that if we were to throw down his weapon, Okita would halt his attack. If only Kaoru would back down, then we'd have no more reason to fight. <sighs> Don't want to hurt you, Kaoru. We can't let you start a war with uh, that will kill innocent people, and we need the cure for the water of life. Shut up! I don't want you to... You want to die before your boyfriend? What? <sighs> His face twisted with rage and hate, Kaoru spun toward me and charged. Happened so suddenly I didn't have time to move. Okita leapt after him, but he'd been staying out of the range of Kaoru's blows, and I knew he'd reach me... He'd never reach me in time. Kaoru was nearly on top of me, his sword held high and glinting in the moonlight. Just run, Chizuru! Get out of there! Then there was someone between us. Oh, Kodo... Daddy. Kaoru's sword came down on me. Not on me, but on my father. He protected me. We talked him down. Get out of the way, old man! He screamed, kicked my father to the ground, wrenching his sword out of the blood-soaked wound. I threw myself to the ground and wrapped my arms around my father. Loki had nearly reached my brother. Kaoru spun around. And raising his sword, swinging out of the charging man. Don't raise your sword! Okita was a better swordsman, and even Kaoru's fury-enhanced demonic strength couldn't save him. Okita's blade found an opening and slid through it, into my brother's chest. Cleave him in twain, dude! Kaoru crumpled to the ground. I. His eyes were focused on something far off in the distance. He gave a sort of quiet sigh, and then he was gone. Kaoru... I'd known this night would almost certainly end with Kaoru's death, but my heart was heavy just the same. Perhaps I'd hoped we might reconcile someday, that I might have a family again. Yeah, well now you have a boyfriend! So, you're welcome. Thanks, that was me! I did that! Little... Dove back in there, wasn't sure I was gonna do that, but I decided to, and I'm really happy I did, because now we've got a boyfriend again who's not super hecka dead. Now, that slim hope was gone forever, and I just could not give less of a crap. That kid, that kid Kaoru, is a dick, and he's gone. He's a, he's a gone dick. Ah, <sighs> Chizuru. His voice was faint. Said nothing, but I gripped his hand until my knuckles turned white. Downside, we did spend two and a half years looking for my dad. And... Maybe three and a half? Three and a half years? Wasn't there like a year that we waited? I don't remember now. And now he's dead. So, that was a good evening. The wound Kaoru had so carelessly given him was a mortal one. Even for demon, no doctor could have saved him. The pure water of this place can thin the water of life. What? His voice was fading. I leaned in close. I couldn't afford to miss a word. Perhaps it could purify it. I felt tears spring to my eyes. He was standing at death's door. With his last words, he gave us hope. I made some mistakes, but I hope that, that in the end, I was able to be a father to you one last time. Father! Not all bonds of family need blood to make them real. I swallowed my tears. You'll always be my father, my real father. Whatever mistakes he'd made, he was a kind man at heart, and he loved me like a daughter. I'd had my doubts about his actions, but I'd never forgotten the life we'd had together as I grew up. He smiled at me one last time and passed away. I'd prepared myself for his death, or so I'd thought. As I looked down at the body that had once been my father, I felt hollow inside, like some part of me had fled with his spirit. Kaoru had died hating me, his heart twisted by a lifetime of misery. My father's love for me had cost him his life. Even after all they'd done to me, and all the evil they'd meant to do, they had still been my family, and that would never change. I sat there biting my lip and trying desperately not to burst into tears when suddenly I felt Okita's arms around me. Words simply refused to come, and so I, left my, I let myself fall into his embrace. It was enough he was there. Warm, kind, and alive. His fingers combed gently through my hair and traced meandering paths down my back. I leaned my head against him, and when he spoke, I heard his soft voice rumble through his chest. It's alright, Chizuru. You can cry. Okita. <sighs> That's not a game over. That's a game. Continue. We made it through the fight. His arms held me tight. He loved all of me, even my sadness and loss. To him, there was no weakness or shame, there was only me. Ah, <sighs> Okita. And suddenly all the emotions I struggled to hold back were there and all their soul-shattering force. The only people I'd ever called family were dead and the loss felt as if I might break me in two. The man I loved most in the world was safe and he loved me. 
Tears poured forth and my body shook with sobs. I'm so glad you're here. Simple words could not express how much he meant to me. I cried some more. <laughs> we made it to the final chapter. Clean air, pure water. Surrounded by nature, our bodies began to change. We went to sleep when the moon and stars rose in the sky, and woke bathed in the morning sun. Though we were still furies, we no longer felt the lust for blood, nor the pain that came with it. The tranquility of nature seemed to have softened us. That's an interesting theme right there. A little hint of one at least. Nature's healing grace compared to that of the, the sprawling city of Kyoto. Still, there were some things that did not change. Especially because, like, so much of Kyoto was always trying to kill Okita. A lot of Kyoto was. Whenever we were there, he was like, I'm constantly dying, and things are getting worse, and problems are compounding on themselves. Now that we're out here, it's like, oh, alright. We're still ourselves. Tuberculosis Tabrocu still remained. Still consumption eating away at his body. Nonetheless, we were together, and that was what mattered. really nice day today. I lifted a hand to shade my eyes and Soju laughed quietly. Soji. Soji laughed quietly. Yeah, it's hard to think of anything better than just lying in the sun together. Yeah. The sunlight, which had once been a source of great pain for us, now only made us sleepy. As a result, we often spent our days napping out of doors. The warmth of our bodies pressed up against one another made me feel happy and content. I yawned. Soji grinned. Hey, you can't fall asleep yet, I'm not sleepy. But I am. Yeah? I love you. Huh? I love you. He wrapped his arms around me and whispered into my ear. I blushed. Stop teasing me. Hey, I'm not I'm not teasing you. I've loved you for a long time. He chuckled. Even all the pain and misery we'd suffered hadn't been enough to blunt his imp impishness. I hoped it never would. Jeez. I knew I couldn't resist it, so I gave up and laughed along with him. What about you? His eyes looked deep into mine. I want to hear how you feel. His mouth twitched up into a mischievous, mischievous grin. Rolled my eyes and smiled. I love you too, Soji. Gave me a peck on the forehead. Thanks, Chizuru. He threaded his fingers through mine and wrapped them around my hand. His grip was stronger than I'd expected. I turned to look at him. So Soji, what is it? Don't ever forget that I want you to be happy. His voice was low and honest. I don't want to I don't want you to ever be lonely. So just just don't. I didn't want to be ever apart from him either. I didn't ever I didn't want to ever be apart from him even for a moment. I snuggled up closer to the warmth of his body. Was he anxious? The uncertainty of the uncertainty of our future together did make us frightened sometimes. Don't worry. I squeezed his hand back. You make me whole. How many wonderful memories had I made with this man I loved? I'm happy, very happy, and not lonely at all. There was something wistful in his eyes, but it didn't seem to touch his smile. His arms tightened around me. I love you so much, so you've got to believe this next part. Even if we get separated someday, my heart will always belong to you. He gave me one last smile, and then his eyes slid close. His arms loosened their grip just a bit. Soji? He said nothing. Having finally managed to express what he felt, it seemed that the warm sunlight had gotten the better of his consciousness. I thought you said you weren't sleepy yet. I enjoyed a short giggle at his expense and then leaned closer to whisper in his ears. I feel the same way. A lazy smile stretched across his face, as if he were enjoying an especially pleasant dream. Even if we do end up apart someday, my heart is yours forever. There's our closure. I wanted to stay like this always, wrapped in his warm embrace, the slow rise and fall of his chest lulling me to sleep. My eyes began to drift closed as I thought of how I wanted to tell him how much I loved him over and over and over. When we woke up, I told myself sleepily I would have to be sure to do that. I should never have to worry about my feelings for him. Good night, Soji. Sleep well. There we go, there's some credits! We did it! 
took a little extra work, but we made it there. <sighs> God, that was so much fun. So, that's, that's it, woo! Sorry, sorry, I hit a button. Thanks, PSP. That is Hakuoki, Fleeting of the Demon Bloss- Demon of the Fleeting Blossom. Blossom of the Demon Fleeting. That is Hakuoki. Um, at least this is the, the Soji path for it. And that was wonderful! That was awesome! That was amazing! And I loved- I loved getting a game over. That was a really fun part of it. <laughs> Just like, jump back in right away and be like, wait, that can't happen. Do this a different way. Ugh, Soji. I wasn't sold at first, I wasn't sold for a long, long time, but I eventually came around. And then their little Hernholman romantic ending. I don't know, I kind of almost felt a little more sold by the, the ending, the first ending we had. But, you know, we can have our happy ending, and that's not bad to have a happy ending. And there's some little bittersweet parts to it too, but... There was so much fun in this game, and I'm just so happy that I got to share this playthrough with you guys. Um, everything that we've done here with the uh, history of the game, the history of uh, Japan being kind of at our fingertips as we play through a, a dating sim. Let me get to the menu so it doesn't loop. Um, but yeah, there's the history. We had... Lots of talk about um, about gender, especially at the very beginning, where we're um, we're posing as a as a guy. A lot of talk about sex, which is always my favorite, because we had all the all the blood being shared, and we got to kiss, and characters being douches to us, and then they get their comeuppance. Either way, no matter what ending we had, Kauri got to die violently. But he was too satisfied the last time, so we had to change that. <laughs> I'm, yeah, that guy was annoying. I hate that guy. <sighs> but we have our closure now. We have the closure on that side of the story, and there's plenty more to be had there, just like there was with uh, our other dating sim that we played, Sweet Fuse. That was way too much fun. Also, totally different tone though. Sweet Fuse, super lighthearted, very, uh, almost jokey in the way. I guess it still loops through. We'll have to go one menu deeper. Okay. We'll dive into the, the memory stick. Now it won't loop. Sweet View is a lot lighter in tone. This one a lot heavier and very dramatic and very heavy. And it played on a lot of themes of kind of macho samurai gendered kind of like um, themes of revenge and vengeance. Uh, eye for an eye throughout the whole plot and people did like ridiculous things uh, even in the politics side of it like this is actually a pretty good frame of reference for the history where people are making huge political historical moves that would like change everything after that point and sunder like the Shinsengumi were sundered they were torn asunder is what I mean by political actions that were based on that same kind of vengeance. And so, very, very interesting how those things layered together and how those were placed, they are kind of overlapped in a lot of ways. Uh, anything else? Not anything that I can really think of, but nice to have our closure and a happy ending and we get to spend the rest of our lives with Soji and live apparently on a farm and we don't have any way to support ourselves, but whatever doesn't matter. We did it. <laughs> he survived. He survived the war. And that's what matters for us right now. That's all that matters. Oh yeah. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here for the whole, the whole dang thing. It was just so much fun being able to host you guys. And we're going to have so much more planned on this channel. So uh, make sure that if you're not subscribed or if you're not uh, following me in the usual places like on Twitter, and stuff, go do that. Twitter.com backslash SolenCubed. That's where you can find all my updates and stuff like that. All of my updates are also here on YouTube. Um, anything else? I want to thank Sprawlrat 
for being so amazing. And they uh, sent me this game and was like, you gotta do this. It's gonna, I was warned that it would start a little dry. And it did, honestly it did, but it set us up for such an amazing thing. And without Sprawl Rat, without them, I wouldn't have been able to do all of this. And that means so much to me. And it was so much fun to be able to share this with you guys. So uh, with that, if you want to see anything else specifically like this, you can also um, support me on Patreon, which the links should be below if I'm doing things right. And um, we can play more, more awesome dating sims if you guys have any suggestions. Otherwise, I don't really... I'll just be doing on my own whatever it comes up, whatever shows up. Uh, and if you liked this, the, the playlist is available for you to do whatever you'd like with it. You want to share this with a friend. If you're like, there's this game that you should see, um, and there's this weird green-haired kid that kind of does his own thing with it, uh, I'd be honored if you shared it. Other than that, uh, you're free. I'm free. We're free together. Uh, Chizuru and Soji are free to live their lives as they will. Uh, thank you, and we'll see you next time for more RDLP.